Hi everybody, this is Miss B Finance 101. I am so excited it's on a Wednesday. I am going to talk about emergency fund today. You know, most of the time we think that emergency don't always happen, but they do happen. So what is an emergency? Something you don't plan for? It's can be a good emergency or a bad emergency. For example, it can be you wrecked your car today or, you know, you went to the hostel, things that are unex uh, you didn't expect to happen. Those are your emergency. Now, having school fee, <laughs> not having school fee money, that's not an emergency. It can also be in a positive that, you know, you have an investment that you that just came up and you want some money to invest that can be an emergency so having emergency fund is really really important you know one of the things that um i always ask my client is if you went to work today and you are told by your boss you are fired how will you handle that how will you handle that if you are fired today do you have a caution to take care of yourself so we're gonna talk about it the reason why you need an emergency fund for me personally is a peace of mind as a woman we feel so peaceful when you have life insurance so man take note when you have life insurance or emergency fund we feel very very peaceful the second thing is so that you don't get into more debt the reason why people are in so much debt and including ourselves is the moment something happens emergency, we hurry up and go to payday loan and we get into debt. While if we have emergency fund, we don't have to get into more debt or we don't have to take money from our retirement. Emergency fund will prevent you from taking money from your retirement fund. And another thing is also just to give you freedom, work like a boss when you have that emergency fund. So it's really, really important to have it. But now the other question that people always ask me is like, okay, Betty, every time I put money into my saving is all gone. <laughs> you know, uh, emergency fund is not money you, you want to save for your future. This is money just, that can just help you and you need to put it in somewhere where it's so liquid where you can just take it at once and use it when things happen so me the places you put it i always tell my client the best option is open a separate account if you can't go to another city open a credit union then just have them transfer money over there emergency fund you're not gonna put them in your circle this is not your 401k this is money that you need to have a quick access to that's why mutual funds will help you credit unions will help you you want to put it somewhere that you can get it real fast but not too fast not with your savings account another thing that people always ask is how much do you need to say for emergency now i always tell is three months of salary but if you have a stable job Honestly, if you are sure your money is always going to come in, do three months. If you're making 5000 a month, you need to have 15000 for emergency. Three months of your money, also of the expenses you always use at home, you want to put consider the expenses and that's your emergency fund. But if you're in business, you're, you're not sure of when you're going to have that money, at least you need six month caution. And that's what I tell a lot of my truck drivers, you know what? You never know when the truck is going to mess up. So always have at least six months of that money that you use every day to, to survive put aside. Uh, another thing uh, is just, you know, consider, honestly consider the responsibility you have. Emergency fund is very important. It's the third part of our money. If you've been following me, you know, I always start, start with protection then go to debt management, then have emergency fund. Now, even if you, you don't have to have like 15,000 today, you can start small, you know, just keep on putting it aside easy by easy, eventually you'll have a lot. But note this, the way the house is built is to first protect yourself, manage your debt, then have emergency fund, then invest last. Uh, the reason is doesn't make sense for you to have 40,000 emergency fund and you have a lot of debt because the interest rate in debt <laughs> and you have emergency fund that is in a in account that is not growing it doesn't make sense you better clear off your debt first than have emergency fund am i making sense so um this is just my tips i'll learn from you guys what do you do with your emergency fund 
my challenge for you guys is since this is my last video this month go back and review all my video number one the second thing is considering having an emergency fund outside your bank account Talk to me if you need to open a mutual funds. I'll guide you through that. The third thing that I will challenge you to do absolutely is call me so that we can build you that house the right way. This is Miss B Finance 101. I'm excited and I can't wait to see you all at the top. Thank you so much.